Welcome to Auburn University's 2018 Spring Graduation Ceremony. We'll begin this ceremony with the presentation of the colors. I ask that all gentlemen please remove their headdress for the presentation of the colors, as well as during the national anthem. Please remain standing. March on the colors. Dr. Matthew Hope, Associate Professor of Voice, will lead us in singing our national anthem. He will be accompanied by the Auburn University Graduation Band, conducted by Michael Cater, Graduate Assistant with the Auburn Band. Thank you. Retire the colors. Please be seated. Graduation is the most distinguished and important ceremony we host here at Auburn University. It is the symbolic closing of a very transformative chapter in your academic pursuits and the launch of a new chapter, one that holds great promise and limitless possibility. I'm grateful to be able to celebrate this moment with each one of you. I'd like to start by introducing some members of the platform party. Others will be introduced later in this ceremony. As I call your name, please rise. Mr. Clark Saley, Auburn University Board of Trustees. Dr. Bill Hardgrave, Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Bobby Woodard, Senior Vice President for Student Affairs. Dr. John Mason, Vice President for Research and Economic Development. Dr. Taffy Benson Clayton, Vice President for Inclusion and Diversity. Ms. Jane DeFalco Parker, Vice President for Development and President of the Auburn University Foundation. Now, before I introduce the next member of our party, I'd like to say this gentleman has served the university admirably for decades, is in his 19th year of commencement exercises, Mr. Grant Davis, Secretary to the Board of Trustees, who will be retiring this summer.
Ms. Jamie Hammer, General Counsel. Ms. Nancy No, Interim Dean of Libraries. Dr. George Crandall, Associate Dean of the Graduate School. Dr. Norman Godwin, Associate Dean for Academic Affairs, Harvard College of Business. Dr. Daniel Swantek, Chair of the University Senate and Professor in the Department of Psychology in the College of Liberal Arts. Dr. Jeff Jones, Graduation Marshal and Professor in the Department of Accounting in the Harvard College of Business. Dr. Eric Wetzel, Mace Bear and Assistant Professor in the College of Architecture, Design, and Construction. Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey Wellborn, Commanding Officer, Air Force ROTC. Lieutenant Colonel Rashawn Steele, Commanding Officer, Army ROTC. Captain Willie Billingsley, Commanding Officer, Naval ROTC. Mr. Rick Smith, Graduation Reader and Lecturer in the School of Communications and Journalism and Mr. Steve Geis, Interpreter for the Deaf, Office of Accessibility. Will you please give a round of applause for these members. <laughs> Graduates, our faculty members have played a major role in preparing you for these next steps in your lives. They have mentored you, challenged you, and propelled you forward. Will the members of the faculty with us tonight please rise? Everyone, please join me in applauding them and the other tireless individuals on the faculty who have devoted their time and effort to shape these graduates' minds and poise them for success. Now I'd like all of our candidates for graduation to stand. I hope all the graduates heard that great round of applause because what I want you to do is to look around this arena. The seats are filled with your biggest supporters, your friends and your family. They have worked and wished and waited for this day almost as much as you have. They have come from far and wide to help celebrate with you today. They have encouraged you throughout the entire pursuit of your degrees. I want you to look to them and give them a round of applause and thank them for their invaluable support to you. Please be seated. Graduates, you're joining an incredible family of Auburn graduates. Since our establishment in 1856, Auburn has awarded more than 320,000 degrees at the doctorate, master's, and bachelor's levels. Our graduates have moved on to make meaningful impacts in our community, our state, the nation, and across the globe. I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. I look forward to following your success and the marks you leave on the world. So now we come to an exciting time in the ceremony. Um, we are very honored to have Randall Ennis, CEO of the World Poultry Foundation, with us here today to deliver our graduation address. Mr. Ennis graduated from Auburn in 1983 with a bachelor's degree in poultry science putting in many hours at the poultry research farm while he was a student here in school. Since he left the Plains, he's gone on to have a prosperous career in the industry. For a decade, Mr. Ennis held leadership positions at ConAgra, where he increased the company's efficiency as well as its profits. In 1995, he was approached by Ross Breeders with an opportunity to join the international company's executive team. He accepted this challenge and helped lead the company as they acquired Ross Breeder's competitor, created a new company, Aviagen Group. After serving two years as Chief Operating Officer of Aviagen Group, Mr. Ennis became the company's CEO. In this role, he oversaw Aviagen's presence in the United States, throughout Europe, Asia, and Australia. And during his tenure as CEO, the company nearly doubled its turnover from $350 million in 2008 to more than $600 million in 2014. 
After leaving Aviagen, Mr. Ennis became the CEO of World Poultry Foundation, a nonprofit organization that strives to improve lives through poultry production and consumption while empowering farmers around the world. Under his leadership, the World Poultry Foundation received a $26 million grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, enabling them to implement transformative smallholder poultry enterprises in Tanzania, Ethiopia, and Nigeria. Mr. Ennis embodies the Auburn Creed in his service to his industry and to his community. He served as president and board member of the Alabama Poultry and Egg Association, as a founding member of the European Primary Breeders Board, and as a board member for the International Poultry Council and National Poultry Technology Center. A true Auburn man, Mr. Ennis is always willing to pay it forward to his alma mater. He is a mentor for students in the College of Agriculture, and was a committee chair for the Because This is Auburn campaign. Additionally, Mr. Ennis is the 2014 recipient of the College of Agriculture's Outstanding Alumni Award and the College's 2017 Alumni Service Award. Please join me in giving a warm Auburn welcome to Mr. Randall Ennis. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, to President Leith, distinguished faculty, trustees, guests, and most of all, to you, the class of 2018. It's an honor and a privilege to stand here before you today to share with you some of my life lessons that hopefully can encourage you. You see, other than your wedding day, the day of the birth of your kids, maybe winning the lottery, this is one of the most memorable, important days of your life. Well, let me add one more. The day that your child finally graduates college, right? <laughs> You get the, the biggest cost of living increase ever. Congratulations. Looking back on my life and my career, I have many regrets, and if I could, I would go back and change them. But one thing that I would not change is the day I set foot on this campus in the fall of 1979, as it changed my life and prepared me for my journey. I stand before you today with a deep sense of humility and gratitude. I've had the fortune to travel to over 65 countries, and I've interacted with some of the most successful and brilliant people in this world. And I'm convinced that none of that would have been possible without the training and preparation that I received here at Auburn. Looking back over the past 35 years of my business career, there are behaviors that have stood the test and are very that are common amongst successful people that I know, and I just want to share with you briefly a few of these. The first is patience and a commitment to excellence. Throughout my career, I wasn't the smartest, I wasn't the fastest, I wasn't the brightest, but no one was going to outwork me. I wanted to excel in any task that was given to me and be the best. But one of the obstacles to this can be frustration and impatience. When faced with challenges and obstacles and you get frustrated, just be patient. Allow yourself the time to make sound, rational decisions. You see, I thought I had everything all figured out by the time I was in the 10th grade in high school. When people would ask me, what do you want to be when you grow up? The answer was easy, a veterinarian. But when I arrived on the campus in 1979 as a pre-vet student, I had no idea how this was all going to unfold. You see, it didn't take me long to realize that becoming a vet was not my dream, but the dream of my parents. And also, chemistry had a big factor in it, okay? <laughs> so after a difficult decision with them, I decided to change directions and pursue a different path. Although I wasn't raised on a farm, I knew that in my life early, I wanted to do something with agriculture and something with animals. The, the idea of feeding the world intrigued me, and there were so many opportunities. So as I began this journey, I took some ag economics classes. I investigated ag engineering. I even considered agronomy, but none of these excited me. It was then that I really started feeling frustrated. I ended up enrolling in the animal science department, but I woke up one morning realizing that this probably wasn't my calling as my family didn't own a farm and I really didn't understand what the prospects of that field would offer. So again, the frustration set in, and I felt like I had to make a decision quickly, regardless of whether it met my goals. But my father gave me some sound advice, and lo and behold, he told me just to be patient. Lo and behold, another path opened. 
Uh, while at home one weekend, uh, a family friend recommended I look into poultry science. I'd never heard of poultry science. The only reference to chicken that I had was when I put it on my plate. So I went and met with the department head. He encouraged me to take a class, and the rest is history. Uh, uh, just a quick story. Uh, when I decided to go from animal science to poultry science, I'll never forget the discussion with my mother. When I told her I had found my calling and I was going to pursue a degree in poultry science, she looked at me in the eye and solemnly asked, and how do you expect to make a living writing poems? <laughs> okay. Well, once I explained it was poultry science, she was relieved, but not by much, okay? Um, but I graduated in 1983 with a degree in poultry science from the College of Ag, and I joined uh, one of the top countries, uh, companies in the U.S. If I had given in to my frustration and followed a path that wasn't in my heart, I would have not have found my true calling, to be fortunate to get paid for something that you really enjoy doing. Over the course of my career, I've been, I've been presented opportunities that ultimately led to me to be the CEO of the world's largest poultry ge genetics company. And then in 2015, I had the unique opportunity um, to join the World Poultry Foundation to give back some of the skills and, and the experiences that I had learned and really make a meaningful difference in the fight against hunger and poverty. As the CEO of the World Poultry Foundation, I'm working with the poorest of the poor in developing countries to offer a way out of extreme poverty and to offer ways to feed their families through poultry. In a project we're implementing in Tanzania and Nigeria, our objective is to transform the rural poultry sector and to positively affect 2.5 million households by the end of 2020. So in the next phase of your life, you're gonna face frustration and you're gonna face uncertainty, but trust yourself. The principles that you've learned here at Auburn will be your foundation. Another trait that's important is confidence. Believe in yourself. I want to be the first to congratulate you on a, on a milestone. You've accomplished something that only three out of every 10 Americans has done. You're graduating with your college degree. You're, you've committed yourself, you're now walking away with your diploma, but to succeed in your future endeavors, you've got to have this same confidence. I knew when I left Auburn that one day I wanted to run a company and I would do whatever it took career-wise to meet my goal. So in the near future, you will find yourself faced with opportunities and even changes in your career paths. Most of these will be very difficult decisions, but if you believe in yourself and don't let pride get in your way, you will be successful. When I was at Conagra, I was offered the superintendent's position in our processing facility at night. But if I accepted it, I would have to give up a, a really good production job with a company vehicle. And my friends and my colleagues, they could not believe I was even entertaining this. They even said, you'll never see the light of day again. Yet I knew my goal was to someday run a company. And I had to do this regardless of how others perceived it. To me, it was just a short deviation that would give me the additional experience to fulfill my dreams. So don't let pride get in the way and trust yourself and look for these opportunities. The last characteristic is what I refer to as the catfish. I heard this on the radio several years ago and it had a real profound uh, impact on my life and I wanna share it with you. It involves the shipping of king salmon from Alaska to Singapore. To supply the fresh market of salmon in Southeast Asia, the companies in Alaska will catch the salmon and place them in large containers for the long journey across the Pacific. But during the journey, the fish become lethargic and the meat becomes soft and the market rejected it. So someone had the idea, let's put catfish in the containers with the salmon. So while in transit, the catfish would constantly swim and they would nibble at the salmon and they would keep the salmon swimming. So when they arrived at the port, the meat was firm and, and toned. The point of this story is not to swim around and be disruptive or be disrespectful, but it shows the importance of asking questions and challenging the status quo. All organizations need catfish or they become stale and unimaginative. So why is all this important? Well, consider that even in 2018, 795 million people in this world do not have enough to eat. That's one in nine. Malnutrition is responsible for 48% of all child deaths under the age of five, and 75% 
of the world's poorest families depend on the food that they produce just to eat. And in your lifetime, the projections are there will be 2 billion more people on this planet, which only complicates it further. So to me, feeding the world is one of the top priorities of this graduating class. It isn't just the responsibility of the agricultural community to solve these problems, but it's going to take contributions from other disciplines as well. Contributions from the business and the technology communities will be crucial through innovations such as blockchain technology. Your generation sometimes gets a very hard rap in the media, but I firmly believe it's your generation that's going to change this world. The decisions that you make, the values that you determine, will set the course for generations to come. To be the best you can be, don't just simply follow the path in front of you. Make your own path for those behind you. The first part of your journey starts today. I'm counting on your patience, your commitment to excellence, challenging the status quo, and looking for innovative ways to not only be the best you can be, but to reach your dreams. It's good to be home, and I congratulate you, and I wish you the best in your future journey. War Eagle. Thank you, Mr. Ennis, for your inspiring remarks. It is my pleasure to recognize several groups of students who are graduating with academic honors. First, I would like to recognize those undergraduates who are graduating with honors based on their cumulative grade point averages. Students with a grade point average between 3.4 and 3.59 graduate cum laude, and I ask our cum laude degree candidates to rise and be recognized. You may be seated. Student, students with a grade point average of 3.6 to 3.79 graduate magna cum laude and ask our magna cum laude degree candidates to rise and be recognized. You may be seated. Students with a grade point average of 3.8 and above graduate summa cum laude and ask our summa cum laude degree candidates to rise and be recognized. You may be seated. 1979 marked the beginning of the honors program at Auburn University. In 1998, that program became the Honors College. Honors College students graduate either with the distinction of University Honors Scholar or Honors Scholar. Would all those who have earned the distinction of University Honors Scholar or Honors Scholar please rise? You may be seated. Phi Kappa Phi is Auburn's highest all discipline academic honorary and members represent the top 10% of the college. I now recognize those initiated into Phi Kappa Phi. Please rise. You may be seated. I would also like to recognize our military service members. With those degree candidates who were commissioned in our military services, please rise. I now ask that all active duty and veteran service members, both graduates and those in the audience, please rise. Thank you for your service to our country. Would Dean George Flowers of the Graduate School please come forward? Would Catherine Ann Helmuth please stand? 
On behalf of the faculty in the Graduate School, I would like to introduce our student marshal, Catherine Helmuth, who is receiving a Doctorate of Philosophy in Management. Catherine is from Arlington Heights, Illinois. Now, would all the candidates for the degrees of Doctor of Philosophy please rise? Trustee Saley, President Leith, and Provost Hargrave, on behalf of the graduate faculty, it is my pleasure to present these doctoral candidates for the conferral of their degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me as a member of the Board of Trustees of Auburn University, I do now confer upon each of you the doctoral degree to which you are entitled, with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto pertaining. Please be seated. The Doctor of Philosophy degree is the highest degree awarded in the Academy of Universities. Part of the tradition associated with the awarding of this degree is a special ceremony involving the presentation of a doctoral hood. Would the major professors of the doctoral candidates please escort your graduate to the stage to be hooded as Professor Smith calls their name. Members of the Registrar's Office will direct you to the stage. Dr. Catherine Hilmuth, hooded by Dr. Johanna. <laughs> Dr. Matt Hersel hooded by Dr. Brian Conley. Please join me in congratulating these new doctoral graduates. Now would all the candidates for master's degrees please rise. Trustee Saley, President Leith, and Provost Hargrave, on behalf of the graduate faculty, it is my pleasure to present these master's candidates for the conferral of their degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me as a member of the Board of Trustees of Auburn University, I do now confer upon each of you the master's degree to which you are entitled, with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto pertaining. Graduates will come forward as Professor Smith calls your name. Members of the Registrar's Office will direct you to the stage. You may be seated.
Ryan Church, Stephen Witherington, Jean Davis III, Clifford Strauder, Nicole Arnett, Yolanda Clements, Andrew Blake Ayers, Garrett Hynote, Ellen Brown, Alexander Jager, Mason Maughan, Stuart Jacobs, Grant Benson, William Maffitt, James Kaler, Patrick Creek, Timothy Moore, Timothy Shriver, James Pickett, Jr., April Holcomb, Austin Duran, Benjamin Weiss, Jonathan Sanders, Chase Trigger, David York, William Owsley, Christopher Smiley, Caleb Hall, Edward Mendez Datiz, Eric Scheller, Lee Ingle, Kelly Bass, Virginia Luptak, Joshua Arnett, Justin Barnett, Erica Goodwin, Ellen Cates, Lauren Grantham, Christopher Pinehart, Lauren Brecker, Naomi Bolt, Hannah Weeks, Dorothy Dickman, Brooke Colbreth, Clara Hope Benitez, Ahmed Alsharani, Samantha Scarlett, Akhil Radhakrishnan, Jonathan Suze, Lindsay Metkus, John Chenoweth, Ann Ellenberger, Jessica Esker, Lindsay Barber, Kayla Ramsey, Chelsea Dyer, Bryant Melgar, Joshua Rollins, James Pinkleton, Hayes Johnson, Kaylee Chenault, Clark Dowdy, Mark Bartholomew, Matthew Woody, Stanley Blake Chapman, Nathan Jenkins, Alexander Hancock, Judson Smith, Justin Matthews, Ryan Osborne, Alexandria Hall, Alexis Caruso, Barrett Warren, Santosh Dumpala, Samuel Johnson, Abigail Boone, Danielle Majors, Amanda Misseldine, Andrew Tucker, Victoria Platt, Michael Hornbeck II,
Vladislav Savelius. Morgan Ronsleben. Terence England. Ardrell Oliver. Wang Tang. Mayung Choi. Elizabeth Blessing. Zachariah Myers. Michael McMahon. Haley Evans. James Haig. Patrick Newsom. Lee Godwin. Megan Nicoletti. David Monte. Please congratulate these master's graduates. We now come to the conferring of the undergraduate degrees. Mr. President, the Dean of the College will come forward and present the candidates who have been approved by the faculty and recommended for the appropriate undergraduate degrees. Interim Dean Johanna, Harbor College of Business. Would Zachary Spencer please stand? On behalf of the faculty in the Harvard College of Business, I would like to introduce our student marshal, Zachary Spencer. He is receiving a degree in finance. Zachary is from Gulf Breeze, Florida. Would all degree candidates from the Harvard College of Business please stand? Trustee Sally, President Leith, and Provost Hardgrave, on behalf of the faculty in the Harvard College of Business, it is my pleasure to present, present these students to you in the conferral of the bachelor's degree. By virtue of the authority vested in me as a member of the Board of Trustees of Auburn University, I do now confer upon each of you the bachelor's degree to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto pertaining. Please be seated. <laughs> Graduates, you will now come forward to be introduced as Professor Smith calls your name. Members of the Registrar's Office will direct you to the stage. The College of Business, Interim Dean Johanna, Sheena Hunter, Matthew White, Timothy Strader III, Tyler Frabel, Peyton Good, Kathleen Grunder, Carly Coates, Courtney Schell, Stephen Baranka, Joseph Peterson, 
Jackson Fries. Luke Godber. Austin Matthew Bates. John Milgard. Ryan Moult. Nicholas Fortas. Braden Pichel. James Hutchinson. Jenna Santi. Johanna Arbona. James Brown. Bo Burnett. Price Hammond. Dustin Watts. Andrew Hodnett. Whitaker Dees. Samuel Britton. Zachary Spencer. Rebecca Nelson. Logan Owen. Connor Wimberly. James Denzel Williams. Zachary Nell. Peter Wolbart. Kendall Higdon. Hampton McDonald. Mallory Wilson. Wesley Fox. Jackson Mitchell. Ryan Bell. Nicholas Farmer. William Jones. Grady Evers. Thomas Caps. Kyle Sitzler. Christopher Lee. Daniel Foote. Harrison Jen. Britton Mollering. Noel Petty. Lauren McCormick. Amanda Smith, Abigail Lagnew, Jacob Darrow, Kellen Kern, Evan Kinsler, Justin Weber, Christopher Blevins, Chelsea Helton, Jenna Harbor, Garrett Rogers, Mary Catherine Pinson, Anna Grace Hale, Allie Turner, Gray Costner, Reeves Johnson, Bailey Ruschenberg, Tyler Hill, Zachary Akust. Cole Joukowsky, Jordan Salkeld, Ryan Welty, Megan Rinker, Colleen Casey, Laney Bloxage, Katie Klinger, Andrew Mitchell, Catherine Dunaway, Mary Grace Russell, Sarah Grovos, Taylor Gaden, Celeste Smith, Julia Applegate, Madison Langman, Rain Parker, William Peterson, James Tate the third, John Agnos, Jonathan Fearing, Andrew Way, James Putman, Kyle Mann, Kylie Memnaw, Julia Marr, Jenna Ozapensky. Ivy Hand, Erica Honecker, Emily Clement, Austin Scott, 
Caleb Fincher. Merrill Johnston III. Braxton Parvin. Will Fennerty. William Thomas. Dustin Lee. Douglas Kreps. Jonah Rapoon. Tyler Burns. William Cole. William Booth. Andrew Beatty. Chandler Stokes. Christopher Harrison. Sarah Beth Cape. Amy Hamrick. Song Hyun Wang, Lauren Baker, <laughs> Tiffany Thompson, <laughs> Catherine Ingersoll, <laughs> Amanda Barag, <laughs> Autumn Hiskey, <laughs> Jane Morton, <laughs> Chelsea Lee. Lauren Leto, William Tucker Brown, CJ Uzama, Annie Stewart Miles, Alexandra Lejeune, Abigail Mulvaney, Peter Wharton Dyke III, Erica Cochran. Emily Hancock, Jasmine Caldwell, Antonio Reyes, Timothy Bybee, Connor Livings, Carolani, Abigail Sloop, Hunter Ford. Edward Easterlin, Jr. Alexis Olszewski. Sarah Patrick. Jacob Callahan. Lauren Burks. Mary McCarthy. Brittany Rooker. William Probst III. John Monroe. Lauren Tortorigi, Ansley Brown, Morgan McDaniel, Aaron Johnson, Leanne Phillips, Joshua Shockley, Lauren Horton, Allison Comanaris, John Segrist III. Zena Smith, Jessica Gonder, Tony Cowan Jr., Ashley Osmussen, Grace Anafoshi, Second Lieutenant William Hurst, Emily Moradelli. Sophia Gay Ingle, Catherine Oberkirch, Madison Poppy, Lawrence Garupa, Gabriella Collins, Annie Stewart, Mosteller. Lucy Mosteller, Austin Dobbs. Francis Harper Bodie, Sarah Caliano, Monica Bailey, Delicia Mathis, Kelly Crittenden, Alexandria Jackson, 
Philip Darby, Donovan Butler, Brianna Perkins, Caroline Ward, Elizabeth Albanese, Casey Brooke, Camilo Sabagol Mateus, Emily Fisher, Abby Hubs, Mary Claire Mastriano, Madeline McLean, Casey Petcher, Ken Ray Anderson, Michael McGee, Grant Shank, Andrew Roberts, Dean Carraway, Kevin Hardiman, Stephen Laycock, Reed Miles, Austin Pitchford, John Waters, Walker Little, Hannah Burns, Daniel Kamen, Nicholas Beaster, Arthur Walker, John Bradwell, Reed Denbesti, Stephanie Stratton, Mary Carpenter, Brooke Underwood, Kelly Duza, Emery Martin, Katherine Hicks, Craig Duerin, Peyton Cox, Emily Windham, Lawson Drew, Mary Kate Godwin, Mary Bonacci, William Botcher, Kyle Evans, Jackson Morris, Dylan Watts, Christopher Arena, Parker Kelly, Glenn Becker, Eric O'Neill, Peyton Osborne, Dylan Moyer, Matthew Melms, Kerry Burdick, Tata Ori, Jin Yu Ban. Karen He, Mingyang Ru, Shan Shan Lu, Han Choi, Olivia Lenz, Shelby Battles, Cody Barnett. Olivia Todd, Jake Miner, Christopher Maurice, Lucas Donovan, Caroline Powell, Jenna Smith, Christine Schwartz, JT Petrotoni Jr., Scott Wall, Patrick Fortko, John Charvel, John Ty Jr., Cameron Aaron, Houston Surratt, Austin Ellington, 
Michael Firer. William McWirt. Matthew Allison. Kyle Kepler. Tyler McCormick. Dinam Childress. Jessica Wong. Michael Rogers. Kevin Summers. Mitchell Payne. Joseph Matthews. Elena Cherry. Morgan Sidwell. Madison Defour. Hannah Hunter. Mitchell Feimster. Austin Murphy. Hayden Ellis. Angus McBee. Clay Crosby. Ryan Moss. Gregory Jackson. Sean Ogden. Bria Johnson. Malcolm Walker. James Hill the third. William Curry. Savannah English. Catherine Carmona. Peter Hussey. Shannon Ryan. Kathleen Levitt. Haley Johnston. John Blanding. Jonathan Schmidt. Jackson Wolf. John Yandel. Daniel Harding. Jonathan Schrader. Caroline Sterrett. Adrian Walker. Mitchell Paget. Caitlin Stogich. Jordan Settle. Matthew Harvey. Ramey Maddox Jr. Blake Murphy. Chase Duffy. Christopher Caprolingo. Ryan Daly. Chase Halvord. Andrew Ross. Cody Hardage. William Roper. Adam Blair. Ethan Cerrone. Ryan Mediati. Patrick Gribben. Elvin Barfield. Preston Smith. Christian Martin. Grant Hinkey. Coleman Bradley. Mia Carrillo. Rachel McCain. Avery Hidalgo. And Gigliotti. Gabriella Balaguer. Sierra T. Jessica Taylor. Nikhil Shannon. Jeffrey Wall Jr. Jason Johnsey. Chase Walters. Mary Robertson. Ayokunli Oriomi.
Jacob Aaron, Cody Stewart, Shane Lightsey, Timothy Ritchie, Nicholas Araro, Megan Kaiser, Peyton Deason, Bridget Buckley, Blake Few, Caitlin Miller, Silas Mims, Cameron Minyard, Paris Banks, Devin Hall, Marshall Reeves, Justin Doyle, Chadwick Van Rennesey, Austin Barzetti, Eric Moore, Michael Masali, Kalissa Rushmeyer, Tyler Daly, Rachel Knights, Joseph Crenshaw Kilgore, Brittany Fowler, Anna Hickenbotham, Mary Chamberlain Cummings, Catherine Wingenter, Anna Kate Sheldon, Madison McAllister, Delaney Burst, Lindsay Barnes, Andy Deers, Candler Yielding, Rachel Culp, Colleen Sullivan, Ashton Dillard, Alyssa Cothran, Brandy Cothran, Victoria Binder, Ashley Johnson, Josephine Reisinger, Mackenzie Keith, Philip McCrory, Preston McCree, Lawrence Hearn, Daniel Whitehead, James Ellis, Stuart Harrington, Corey Smith, James Neal, Ryan Moore, Ariana Kitzberger, Brandy McLean, Anna Morgan Couch, Amy Guglielmi, Caitlin Stevens, Morgan Meyerholt, Catherine Fuller, Mary Watley, Second Lieutenant William Moore. Second Lieutenant Michael Crookshanks. Second Lieutenant Jared Heinrich. Second Lieutenant Josh Lopez. Patrick Eckless. Austin Kane. J.P. McLeod. Davis Brock Hendon, Austin Anderson, John Cespedes, Jacob Thompson, Connor Delaney, Jeffrey Valente, 
Brandon Wido. Madison Adams. John Davidson. Blue Stone. Andrew Agrella. Eric McDaniel. Sarah Dollar. Marley Ware. Catherine Hamilton. Madison Gordon. Hayden Robinson. Alexis Goldhagen. Mary Grace Himmel. Mary Perdue. Margot Coleman. Emily Ann Clemens. Kelly Ayers. Hannah Shaner. Candice Mulheron. Kaylee McClanahan. Hannah Wright. Benjamin Bodie. Aaron Haney. Jordan Payne. Anthony Bartolome. Rachel Hart. Caleb Amison. Matthew McCutcheon. Alexandra Diefenderfer. Melissa Cooey. William Brown. JC Butts. Caitlin Chisholm. Lauren McGillis. Cheyenne Ritas. Ellie Smith. Claire Bryan. Madison May. Taylor Adams. Courtney Wages. Maddie McKenna. Marissa Walsh. Alexandra Wright. And Kill Patel. Trenton Singletary. Taylor Sears. William Tut. Frank McEwen Jr. Winston Durbin. William Alderman. Glenn Wright Draper the Third. Sam Schusler. Braden Housel. Davis Robinson. Mitchell Gomez. Nathaniel Potter. William Cole. Taylor Saunders. Amanda Rice. Hannah Giese. Bailey Klipsch. Maliato. Madison Graff. Stephanie Hernandez. Jeffrey Flynn. Graham Schmidt. Buddy Foster. Lauren DeLuca. Jamie Cambron. Amanda Scherer. Dylan Osborne. Celeste Daniel. Rohan Nair. Sarah Ennis. Alex Cisneros. Ryan Lyle. Nicholas Bain. 
Delaney Foster. Cal Slappy. Connor Restus. Jack Rains. Corey Clark. William Hayes. Elliot Morrissey. John Tapp. William Johnson. Michael Myolis. Todd Sessoms. Nathan Pease. Justin Satinelli. Victoria Jones. Aaron Faisal. Alex Ross. Jared Tipton. Charles Turner. Claire Shortman. Rachel Hoppy. Evan Blank. Ryan Lavoy. Caroline King, Dakota Gage, Kayla Underwood, Chandler Pike, Chandler Pyron, Stephen Ellison, Jacob Dean, Daniel Odom, Mark Reedus, Marcus McFarland, Catherine Seibert, Jennifer Dallas, Alex Stevenson, Jacqueline Dallas, Daniel Wilson, Ryland McLean, William Paulson, Jack Keeney, Lindsay Getzenberger, Tucker Robinson, Ryan Perry, Miles Espy Jr., Sean Vanette, Creighton Gerlach. Jeffrey Pareja. <laughs> Bailey Jones. Michaela Cleo. Benjamin Schlachman. Abigail Wagner. Caitlin Creel, Grace Freeman, Megan Anglin, Alan Newton Jr., Fulton Joyner. Christopher Patterson, William Adcox, Tiny Rounds, Nathaniel Wood, Kaylin Burtis, Hayden Forbus, Colin Roberts, Nicholas Augustine, Mallory Brock, Emily Seabe, Abigail Copenhaver, Austin Jenkins, Kaylee Woodley, Savannah Henderson, Amber Steensma, Taylor Massey, William Lewis, 
Rachel Beatty. Isabella Holmberg. Thomas Northcutt. Ryan Leck. Kevin Loveland. Alexandra Page. Chase Shaw. Victoria Sims. Janela Bannerman. Emmy Jaga. Morgan Robinson. Morgan Robinson. Casey Robinson. Matthew Imick. Allison McCoy. Jacob Morris. Colton Burton. Devontae Reed. Justin Blount. Matthew Krebs. Andres Garcia. Brianna Harvey. James Grabmeyer. Peyton Bynes. Parker Bentley. Andrew Litzy. Samuel Stinson. John Headley. Parker Graham. William Kuzel, Hudson Hayes, James Kent, Benjamin Childers, Christopher Campbell, Eli Khan, Oscar Harper V, Michael Zuber, David Francisco, Madeline Smith, Molly Small, Edward Langan, Terence Richard, Leticia Silva de Jesus, Derek Davis. Edward Wynn, Benjamin Morgan, Jonil Smith, Catherine Van Arken, Tayon Park, Elizabeth Story, Darius Davis, Jalisa Cook. Miles Ritchie. Garrett Wright. George Dannenbaum. Alexander Fresalone. Mark Vasali, Kevin O'Hearn Jr., Second Lieutenant Anthony Africano, James Leonard, Ellen Dabrowski, Rachel Vickery, April Palmer, Trent Baggerly, 
Samuel Lupers Jr. Daniel Owen Jr. Dominic Ferrero. Brandon Blaylock. Graham Ives. Yuling Wong. Garrett Truitt. Jordan Muschamp. Rick Simons. Graduates, you're now part of the Auburn Alumni family. Gretchen Van Valkenburg, the Vice President for Alumni Affairs and Executive Director of the Auburn Alumni Association, is here to welcome you to this exceptional group. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Van Valkenburg to the podium. Thank you, Dr. Leith. Congratulations and War Eagle! Now that you've completed the academic requirements and earned your Auburn University degree, you join a group of alumni who, like you, believe in work, hard work, honesty and truthfulness, and a spirit that is not afraid. Auburn University alumni have used their degrees to serve others, better their communities, and succeed in ways they may never have imagined the day they wore their cap and gown. I have no doubt that each of you will do the same. You became a member of the Auburn family when you made the decision to attend Auburn University. You made friends that will last a lifetime, greeted strangers on heyday, and rolled Tumor's Corner, especially last season. You studied, you played, and you belonged. Would all Auburn alumni and attendants please stand so that we may recognize you? That's you. That's you now. Thank you. You may be seated. Today, it is my honor to welcome you as the newest members of the Auburn Alumni Association. You have been greeted by our Auburn Alumni Association board members, Ms. Susan Black and Ms. Lou Ann Hart, and you received an official Auburn alumni pin. We hope that you will wear that with pride wherever you go, and be, we will be in touch shortly to provide a decal for your vehicle and so that everybody knows that you belong to Auburn. As you head out into the world, please remember that your Auburn Alumni Association is here to assist you in staying connected not only to the university, to, but to one another. Whether you stay in the loveliest village on the plains or you move across continents, there are plenty of ways to stay in touch with your university. I encourage you to connect to the vast Auburn Alumni Network. Download the Auburn Alumni Directory app, Find a local Auburn club or affiliate. Stay in touch with your school and college. And once you're established, please submit a story to the Auburn Alumni Association Young Alumni blog. We're, we want to brag on you, and we want to promote you through our Auburn network. Welcome again to your Auburn Alumni Association. I am very proud to be able to share this great day with you. It is my hope that each of you will always believe in Auburn and love it. Congratulations again and War Eagle!
As we conclude our ceremony, I want to take a moment for us to recognize those who have made this day possible for us. Please join me in thanking Auburn University's Graduation Committee and all of those who work so tirelessly to make this ceremony a success. And finally, a special thank you that to our graduates for choosing Auburn University. It's been our pleasure to serve you as educators, mentors, and friends. You may now turn your tassels to the left. <laughs> Graduates, we're very proud of you. The degree you received will aid you in your future endeavors, both professional and personal. We're all very excited to see the marks you'll leave on the world. May, may you experience a truly successful life. Congratulations and War Eagle to all of you. We'll now conclude our ceremony with the singing of the Alma Mater by Matthew Hope. Would everyone please stand and remain standing till the platform party, the faculty, and the new doctors have recessed from the arena. Students, you may drop off your cap and gown as you exit to your right. Proudly stand.